Okay. That's how I get it. Did they say he died quickly? Uh, yeah, he got shot once and he died in the ambulance. Yeah, he died very, very quickly, and he was. It, there was. It, he says it was such a traumatic thing that he just was out and just went. He was unconscious and then just died on the way to the hospital. So he didn't suffer that much. He was in a shock, but he did go to his own funeral and he was there with you. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, good job, Ann. <laughs> Okay, and who else has a dream for us today? Okay, let's. Dreams are very interesting. And uh, this was a dream about a granddaughter before she was born, knowing it was a granddaughter, but in the dream, very vividly, seeing the girl, maybe she was about 20, 19 or 20 at the time, and after talking with her, saying goodbye to the girl, is there any um, feeling She wasn't of, born yet? She wasn't born yet, but knowing uh, that it was a granddaughter and that this would be later on in her life, that she's, you know, maybe 19, 20 in the dream, um, and then you're saying, you know, talking with her and saying goodbye to her? She's someone you knew in a past life, mm -hmm. and she, she recognized that she's coming into your family, mm -hmm. and so therefore she was connected with you and wanted to talk time. to you before she was born. Mm -hmm. And she was projecting through you how she would be when she was older. Mm -hmm. But she's somebody that's been with you. Yeah. I'm getting the chills again. <laughs> I feel that's always, if it isn't the spirit, it's head on. Head on right. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it was. So sometimes when we see someone we don't know in our dreams that we don't recognize, do, have we known them in, in a, lot a of past times, life? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a connection. So she strangers don't come into our dreams ever? What? Strangers, someone we've never seen or met. Well, they may be a stranger to you in this life, but not in another mm -hmm. time. So there has to be some connection in well, order to dream about Well, maybe you would be seeing a pre premonition of someone you would meet later on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you're a little older, that could be it. Because so, sometimes be dreams are of the future. Futuristic in a way. Yeah, it could be yeah. futuristic. But that's, she knows you from yes. another time. Mm -hmm. well, that's interesting. Thank you. Do you feel familiar with her? Oh, yes. Yeah, see, that's what it was. Yes. Yeah. Very interesting. Thank you. Okay, who else has a dream? That one over here? Don't be shy. No, no, I'm just trying to get it in. <laughs> okay, stand up. Okay. Okay, first I'd like to ask you a question. I never dream. Uh, you say I dream, but I, I remember three a year. If well, that. you do dream, but you don't remember them. Why is that? Why does uh, one... Maybe you're tired, or you re you've, they take so much out of you that you really don't want to. Maybe you subconsciously block the dream, remembering the dream, but we all dream. To be normal and, you know, to live, you do dream because your subconscious mind is working when you're sleeping. Because I have a sister who dreams three, four dreams a night. She always comes into work with five dreams. I never have them. I never remember them. But the ones that I do remember, they're always of the building I'm in, whether it's a house or um, a commercial building. I experience I'm above fire, like the, the cellar's on fire flames and I watch people and people getting hurt or things but I'm not it doesn't touch me I'm there but I'm not being touched by it like I'm not getting hurt it's almost I'm not like getting... you're viewing it I just wonder but I feel like I'm in it like I'm it's I'm not viewing it I don't feel like I'm watching and you've never been in a fire have you ever been in a fire no I, I was five years old when I caused a fire <laughs> but I mean I I ran out. Well, that could have something to but do I with it. Wait, wait, I didn't, wait, wait a minute, your house was on fire? I, my brother and I were trying to light a stove. Yeah. And okay. we lit a match and threw it because it scared us once it ignited. And we threw it and it hit a curtain and the kitchen was on fire by the time they, but we ran out. Like, so I didn't see the flames. I didn't get to experience or I wasn't part of. Well, see, I things, caused it. Things but, that we experience from zero to five are very are very strong in our minds. Any habits we acquire, as well as maybe experiences like that, a five, a six to ten are a little little <laughs> less, but still very vivid in our mind. I'm wondering if that's it, or you could have been in a fire or watched a fire in a past life, and every so often it comes. I do. Up. That was my first impression, though, when you started to say that, 
that you had in a past life had experienced this situation and it was so traumatic that you remember it every so often maybe that's why you don't like to dream or don't want to remember them I mean you do dream but. I do feel that it past lives I've been in many of them yeah I, I think do feel like I'm an old life. soul here now and are there tips to help her remember her dreams things that she can do to help yes. her remember her dreams yes before you go to sleep you can program your mind uh, that you want to remember your dreams and have a little notebook and a pencil and if you wake up during the night uh, record what you get because in the morning you may not have all the details and uh, that's a good way to get answers to questions uh, just say that you would prefer to dream one that's pleasant, though. <laughs> Program I mean, your I'm not, mind. I'm in the dream, I'm not sad and I'm not hurt and I'm not in pain. I'm watching this terrible, like when you wake up, you know it's terrible, fire's terrible, water's terrible, and you see people getting hurt, but I'm not, ex my body, my mind is not feeling the sadness or the pain. It's, I don't feel... You had that experience once. I think so in a past life. I really get that very strongly. I did do a regression. Did you ever I, come up with this? I, I was, um, oh. I drowned at 10 years old in one of my past lives, but I never experienced fire. But, but I did, do dream of Did you of go through all your lives. past lives, though? Pardon me? Did you go through all your past no, lives? No, I didn't. So it could have been one of the past one lives that you had. Because if you've had a lot, you don't always, you can't always see them in a session, okay. you know. So her being hypnotized, that might actually help her. Yeah, the way to, uh, the, if it is a past life problem, uh, what you do is put the person under hypnosis, bring them back, and ask them to go to that time and have them look at it and then tell them to leave it back in that time. It's not to come forward anymore. And you can break a habit or a, like a fear of fire, fear of drowning, leave it back there. Then you won't have it when you're awake in this have time. The dreams also of, of being in these buildings or homes, I see water floods, you know, but I'm on top of it. I'm not, you're not, sinking. I'm not in it. I'm not drowning. I'm not. Are you warm. afraid of drowning today? Yes, I am. Yeah, see, that's I the swim fear. and I'm not afraid of water, but I'm afraid of drowning. That's a fear. A lot of people uh, have uh, different fears that do come from past lives. Like if you didn't get enough food in a past life, you, you could come into this life and eat all the time be, but not know why because you're afraid of not having food on a subconscious level. Or say you have a terrible pain here and yet you've had every uh, doctor check you and every uh, test going and yet they say there's nothing wrong. In a past life you may have been injured or killed that way. But the only way to do it is to go through the past life therapy where you bring them back, you look at it, and you leave it. Okay. So okay. Maybe it we'll have work. one so again, and we'll, yeah. we'll hypnotize you. Okay. How, how's that sound? Okay, sounds good. <laughs> sounds good. Thank we'll you. do past life therapy the next time, right? Okay, thank you. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're going to come back with some more dreams. We're going to talk more some audience members about their dreams, so stay tuned.